Hi everyone, I'm Scott from Sharky's Greenhouses and Beat Your Neighbor Fertilizer, and today we are talking about fungus gnats. Now fungus gnats are those annoying little flies that you will see kind of sprout up from your outdoor plants, but also they can be on your indoor plants too. And they love to live in that area along in here and that soil where there's just that little bit of organic material that breaks down and sometimes you get a little bit of green, uh, mossy, slimy area on top of uh, the soil when it's overwatered. They love when you overwater your plants because they thrive on that and that's where they'll feed and where they'll reproduce. So we really want to get rid of fungus gnats. Now first I want to say fungus gnats are not, they're not really destructive. Uh, they're not detrimental to your plants like aphids or thrips or the white fly. Those are bad bugs that we, we make sure that we get rid of. But fungus gnats, they're just kind of annoying. But as greenhouse growers, you know, I don't want my customers coming in, grabbing a begonia or a petunia or whatever it is, and you have this whole little swarm of bugs fly up. It's, it's nasty, it's annoying, and for us, you know, it looks unprofessional. So we make sure that we use a systemic insecticide on you know a commercial application but you can do this at home you know bonaid makes a very good systemic insecticide and what it is it's a it's a granular that you will sprinkle on the top of your plant and when you water when you water that systemic insecticide will go down into the, the soil and it'll be drawn up by the plant through the roots and then it protects really from the inside out protects the plant from uh, the harmful bugs so the aphids and then they chew on it or they poke in uh, they will drink that and they will uh, they will die off now for the fungus gnats this is the point where we kill off the larvae. So they'll, they'll breed and they'll develop along in the soil and the systemic insecticide will kill off that larvae. But once they're adults, then we have to treat it in a different sense. And that's where we use the sticky traps. So when they're flying around, really the best way to, to get them is with the sticky traps. And so we have, you see in our greenhouse, you'll, you'll see these all over. Uh, these are larger commercial size, uh, commercial grade sticky traps, and they're a way for us to monitor what's going on if we have any bugs. And you can see on here, yeah, there, there are some fungus gnats, so, so I'm gonna step up my insecticide program a little bit, and I, I wanna eliminate those. Now again, the fungus gnats, they're not, they're not really gonna kill off, but I, I do wanna look for, you know, if we have aphids or if we have thrips, we have the white fly. Those are things that I don't want. So we go through and we use a systemic insecticide in, uh, in all of our plants and flowers. And it's just a proactive way to make sure that we don't have a problem later on down the line. Now, I know some of you have strong opinions on insecticides and you don't want us, you know, killing off the bees and the, the butterflies and the pollinators. And of course, we don't either. Um, however, I've learned very early on, you know, having a greenhouse, uh, that is the perfect environment for harmful bugs uh, for them to get going and to where you can have a problem. So we have a responsible, but we do make sure that we have an insecticide program. You know, usually it's with the systemic insecticide that we go through and we hit everything so we don't have a problem because you do not want aphids. You do not want thrips. You do not want whitefly. Those are bugs that are really harmful and they will go through and they'll destroy a greenhouse very quickly. I've seen it. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen some terrible, you know, where they no longer had a, a greenhouse. They had an aphid farm. Aphids can produce and reproduce and every two days they're reproducing and all of a sudden you can have a hundred million aphids that are just crawling everywhere and it's it's very hard to get back on track and get your crops under control so we practice a responsible insecticide program and no it does not harm the pollinators the bees and the butterflies you know they're going after the flowers and drinking the nectar where the harmful bugs are chewing and biting in and poking into the stems and the leaves and that's where the the systemic insecticide will kill the the harmful bugs off so with the fungus gnats again you know the the best way is with the systemic insecticide as a preventative but if you do have them if you notice them then the next step is to catch those adult flies that are flying around and using the sticky traps now we've 
uh, found this classy casita. They make these really nice little uh, sticky traps that are great for your indoor plants and we use them in our flower shop. And so they come in a pack of 24 and there's, there's several different shapes, but those work great for your indoor plants and it, it helps to monitor for you, but also helps if you have a problem, if you do have, you know, say the fungus gnats or you have something else, it's a great way. And you know, the, sometimes those, those little flying bugs are kind of dumb. They see something yellow and they, they fly right to it and boom, they're stuck and you know, problem solve. You know, those, those bugs can't reproduce and, and they can reproduce fast. So taking the fungus gnats and uh, going after that proactive, so using a systemic insecticide, and that's great to use year round. We'll go through about once a month and we'll hit uh, most of our plants and flowers with, with that systemic. And again, preventative, that is the way to do it so you don't have a problem. But then using the sticky traps is a great way to monitor and check to see if you have problems you know, later on. And these little sticky traps, they work fantastic. So we do also have a video on fungus gnats and fruit flies. And if you have fruit flies, it's a very similar way of catching them, but there's a one little extra thing that you'll need to know about catching them and using a household ingredient you probably already have. So you can use the, the sticky traps and this household ingredient. And we have that other video is, is also on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook page. We have over a hundred videos, well over a hundred videos on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. And also go to our beatyourneighbor.com website and you can find our fertilizer. But also we do have some of these, these products, the sticky traps and the systemic insecticides. You can find that at beatyourneighbor.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day.